Hi Jillian. Hi Advi. <clears throat> Hi mods. Hi offline gang. How are you? Dream stand. That's pra you're practically saying a slur. <laughs> no response, Jacqueline. Just fucking man. Shut up, man. Shut up. I'm not. Just shut up, man. Real. What'd you guys think of the Iron Lung video? Did you, um, perhaps enjoy it? What did you think of, uh... Are you fucking kidding? Dude, that's nuts. Sorry, just saw a crazy time. What time do you call this? I call this I told you on Twitter already. You would have known if you followed me there. That's on you, man. Also, I don't know you shit. Fucking fuck you, dude. Like, I can stream whenever I want. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Yo, I made it on time. Welcome, welcome. You should be thankful. I make it a point to try and, like, stream at a human time for, like, people who are, who are in America. You know that? Some, some motherfuckers just stream at midnight because that's when their fuck sleep schedule makes it happen. Still waiting for notice to go up. Quite hates English people? Yeah, obviously. Why did you think that wasn't going to be the case? Ooh. It's like two here. That's a new problem. Hey, what's up, Noti gang? What's up, notifications? Just popped in. Looks like notifications just went out. Thank you for the sub, uh, recovering. Appreciate it. The commercial is suspicious? Wait, what? Am I forgetting something? Wait, don't tell me. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. I need to... I need to, uh, make sure I didn't fuck myself on this one. Okay, cool, cool. I thought I had it. I thought somebody said the commercial was sus, and I'm like, wait, what commercial? Did I have, like, a promo thing in that video I forgot to put a link for? But nope, it's something else. I don't know. I don't know what it's up. I don't know what it's about. The Walton Files and the Mandela Catalog are superior. I've seen Mandela Catalog. I still, I've tried to watch Walton Files a few times on stream, but it hasn't really clicked with me. But I've decided that tonight I'm going to give it uh, the full, I'm going to give it the full, what is it? I'm going to give it the full watch through. I'm going to give it the full treatment. <laughs> Damn, now I feel left out. I didn't get my Twitch noting. I mean, you did get here first, so you didn't need them. <laughs> Forgetting some bitches, lol. I'm always here first, though. That's true. So, like, what's even the point of the notice for you? Okay, so I need I need to ask this because I, I I wasn't sure how well this works. Do you think of the sub star? Do you guys know if this video is the complete series, or is there like a, a Martin Walls approved version of how you should watch the Walton Files? Because it's all, it's all like split up into a bunch of shit on his channel. And I'm trying to figure out how I should be watching this. Is the big video, like, is this playlist accurate? Is the big video accurate? There's a playlist of all the episodes in order. Thank you for the sub, Mick LMAO. <laughs> the playlist is how to watch it. All right, sick. Let me uh, readjust my window so it's, like, properly full screen then. That's the one. Bet. I wonder how many views th this individual playlist has. Fucking 500,000. Fair. Damn. Playlist is more accurate. Okay. Thank you for the two gift subs, Luna. Appreciate it. I haven't watched this yet, but I've seen Nexpo's video. I'm thinking that's something I'd watch after I watch the actual series. I usually like to watch these first. Oh, fuck. Stop calling the animatronics hot. We haven't even started. Yeah, we have like a, we have like a, a like a, a grace period, guys. Come on now. 
Thank you for the 300 bits, Damien. Appreciate it. You're in for a ride. I think the farthest I've made it into this series was... Um, I think it was around here. Like, I, I've watched these four all the way through, but I haven't finished it before this. Fuck, there's a lot, man. There's a lot of fucking Walton files. This is like three hours of content, ain't it? Like 40 minutes, 80 minutes, 140 minutes. Yeah, that's like three hours of content, man. Jeez. I guess we'll see if we get to the whole thing tonight, but I'm committing to finishing this. This might be a finish on, when, on Friday, sort of mean, if we don't finish it tonight. Thankfully, I have VODs. I can dedicate two streams to this because I have extra VODs uh, lined up for next week, so we're all good. Turn on subtitles? I usually do, so we should be good. Thank you for the two extra subs, Luna. Oh, audio's not playing. Give me a second, fellas. Nope, that's not the one. There we go. That should do it. Hi, and what? Welcome to the introductory tape to your new job at Bunny Smiles Incorporated. Bunny Smiles Incorporated. to a job in technical. That's the most you're gonna die while working a shift here. Name I've ever seen. Support and maintenance. What does this job particularly mean? It means that you, amongst other employees, are the one who'll take care of creating a magical and fun experience for Bonds Burgers. Bonds Burgers. Is, is that like a Bob's Burgers play on thing, or is that like just completely separate? Oh, almost knocked water over on my expensive electronics. Now that looks fucked immediately. That character design is already terrifying. So, one thing I didn't really understand before I watched this the first time is that the whole thing is meant to be drawn aesthetic. And I think I had a preconceived notion about what I was in for the first time I tried to watch this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to take it for as it is and, ho and just trying to try to enjoy what's there instead of letting my biases come into play. You know what I mean? I'm also going to do my best to be funny because transformative content, blah, 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 you know. Blue spring Just because it's a bunny doesn't mean it's like the exact same thing. Jeez. That's the that, that's Bond. That's its own person, motherfucker. One K viewers, hell yeah, man! Fucking one K Andy status recently. Doggy and window be like bark. McDonald had a farm and on that farm he had some pigs I'm not gonna lie these guys suck at singing like they can't harmonize for shit they should really work on it maybe put it some more see what I'm saying see what I'm saying that not that's not really in tune man those are the showstoppers Bon Shaw Bonzu and Banny a computer these are the showstoppers. oh he bon, says it Shaw Buzu and Banny a computer animated band made by BSI to entertain children Listen, if you looked at those animatronics designs and thought they weren't going to do anything but fucking murder kids, you, like, you, you were on a tab of acid. As a technician, you'll be given the role of a facility caretaker. Hello, my name is you. Around this fun and <laughs> Your name, journey, insert here. work on certain tasks, such as cleaning protocols, robot maintenance and repair, and learning- I don't know why, but I think, like, the, like, plush buddy design, it's cute. It's like, it's like- it's very like soft. How to use BSI technology. He looks he looks friendly and like he has no idea where he is. But first, here's a message from Jack Walton and Felix Kranken, our beloved sound. <laughs> this guy ain't got no neck, L. Which reads, in BSI, the most important thing to us isn't the money or the rating. The most important thing to us is that you have a wonderful experience while working with us. That being said, with the Bonds Burgers restaurant getting opened in a few weeks, we're looking forward to achieving this dream with you. Furry character still moment. Save, restore, secure. The BSI storage facility, also known as K9, is a company project to storage all valuable items from the close for good. 
Bond's Burgers restaurant. Given the situations about the incident since 1974. Uh, it was 87, right? That's the FNAF one. Bond's Burgers location. Any type of props, animatronics, and arcade machines will be carefully moved, inspected, and secured inside a bunker located deep in St. Juana's forest for good. Jack Walton, my beloved. Is he going to be like a villain and you guys are just really, really down bad for a serial killer again? Like, I, I'm down for Springtrap, but only Springtrap, not the serial killer bit. Sunlight Animation. Bunny Smiles Incorporated. Thank you for the two gift subs, JK Luna. Appreciate it. Oh, these motherfuckers live in Brighton. That's where Tommy in it is. Ugh, it, I, th this is so unrelated to anything to do with the series, but I think about how Brighton was like this relatively peaceful seaside town for a while, and now it's just infested with Minecraft YouTubers all the damn time. I'm gonna give her the sub, messy vamps. It's a brand new day. It's a brand new day uh, in the fucking shit already starts to form at the and top. A really special one for sure. Little Bon has it, been... Is this like... I think my subtitles have been offset a bit. Like, um... Like, I've been noticing that my, my subtitles on videos recently have always been, like, behind the video a bit. Or, like, they've appeared before it gets said in the video. Do you guys know if that's a thing I need to... Ch like, I can fix in the fucking thing? Or am I just, like... Is it, is it stuck like this? Thanks for the hundred bits, uh, Honey's High. Appreciate it. YouTube skill issue. Damn, that sucks. Been waiting all day. It's the same for you. Uh, what are you gonna do? Friends to arrive. He is planning to have him sleep over with him. He has everything set up for the Look perfect Look how friendly he is. I can tell friends. he has friends. He looks like a friendly guy. For this sleepover, he invited Shah, Boozy. So bug-eyed in this picture, dude. They did him so dirty. And Billy, let's check again in case. Why the? F why is he looking like that? Why is he looking at me like that? Only one staring directly at you through the monitor. Don't forget any guests. Bon invited Shah. Thanks to the Prime and sub, Ace. Oh, overthrown. 27. Oh, that must be them. <laughs> oh, I threw the door hole scare. It's time for the movie night to begin. Bon spent all his money on a really funny movie. It looks like that one picture of Germa. Legit, it's like ruined my- that- This picture, it, any anyone like it has been ruined by the Germa sus face for me. And friends watched the movie. I guess we can say they had a blast of a time. They look blasted all right, man. Jeez, they were doing fucking bowls and bowls of weed. Once the night dropped, they all Hey, yo, peep the horror. <laughs> oh, look, look at his little face mask. Look at him. He's so cozy and staring right at me. Please, um, look like 30 degrees to the left or right. Either way is fine. Or, please, or don't do that, please. You know, you, you make a good point, chat. I, I feel weird that he's looking at me like that, but I'm technically watching him sleep, so it is a little invasive. Bond about to take on a home invasion, a home invader. He will win. Jack Walton, last scene, 6-11-2014. Intruder, alert. Tasty. You know, like, he's, like, a bit scary, I imagine, but his character design is just really adorable. Like, I don't know what to do with that. He just looks so innocent and unassuming. As he walks... Oh! Bon for real about to light up a bowl, dude. He's about to take a hit. He's like... If I'm gonna deal with this haunted shit, I need to be off my ass for this. 
Wait, 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 where, where is it? Where is my lighter that I own explicitly for doing bits? He's like, yeah, I can't do this shit sober. I gotta be high for this. <laughs> oh. Accurate smoking noises. Brand new caretaker for the old Bunny Smiles facility. I'm uh, recording this because the company requires some type of archives for the work history. Something like that. I honestly have no clue. I just start. They're actually. Yeah, the subtitles are so out of sync with what's being said. L YouTube, man. Fucking making shit hard for us. <laughs> Volume. It's literally as high as it can go, man. It's just way lower than the rest of the video. Why do you have a lighter? Specifically for making bits. Duh. Why else would anybody have a lighter to do bits on stream with? I made it to the location, I think. This has gotta be it. Anyway, so... Have I ever been able to do a stream sober? Literally Monday, man. Thanks for the 400 bits, Cat Thieves. Chris told me this place has been working. I'm not getting defensive. What do you mean? You're getting defensive. I'm not getting defensive. I can I can stop whenever I want. I can, st I, 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 I can stop whenever I want, man. It's, I, I just don't want to stop. Come on. 78, <laughs> 79, and, and that was four years ago, I think. So, it's the 200 bits. Oh god, that smell. Smells like a sewer down here. Damn, they did not take care of him. Look at- Oh my fucking god! Oh my god! Thank you for the sub, Distance Spirit. Look at that figure! Holy shit! What's it? What's Bond's workout routine? That's how I'm trying to look, man. He's got like a fucking hourglass on him. And I thought, Jesus! That's how I wish my waist looked. Like, jeez, man, what the fuck? Bond's making my body image issues even worse, man. Sheesh. Smash. On God, smash. I fuck the chest cavity. I put your dick in the big chest cavity hole. <laughs> it's a murderous bunny robot. Yeah, not the first time I've fallen for one of those. Like, what do you mean? Get that wasp waist. Thanks <laughs> to nice the sub cat thieves. You know, despite it being like a 2D drawing, in hindsight, I really think they did a good job with the composition of the shot. Like, just the way, like, the wires are laid out in the background to make it look three-dimensional, and the way this is shaded and lit to make- it gives it more depth than you might think a flat color 2D image would have. So is them is this them performing maintenance or is this someone breaking in? Make sure the sub on exhale. By the way, guys, uh, just for the sake of focusing on the uh, on focusing on the video, so we like make good time while watching these. I'm not going to read every seven bits, but I appreciate all of them. Thank you, guys. If there's like a big twenty bomb or like a five bomb, I'll definitely try and shout it out. But every, it won't. I might miss some. You know, apologies in advance. This is me after, like, trying to drink with British people, man. They fucking put me under a table whenever I go there. Put- please put those eyes away. I preferred you as a stuffed animal. <laughs> oh, that- like, that- that was actually disturbing, but it caught me off guard. <laughs> me after one hit. Me after one hit. That's what weed does to you guys. Makes you bleed from your brain. Oh! Oh! I don't think Brian's doing so hot. Dude, 
Man, they fucked his face up, dude. They, dude, they turned him to a pear. He's more banana than man these days. Jesus. Wait, what did that say? He thought I... I can't feel anything. Well, I mean, that's a mercy at this point. He thought I was her. No more hairline. No more hairline. Hey, bro, you good? No, legit, legit. Like, your friend will be... Your, your friend will be on the couch looking like this, passed out after a party, and will be like, Hey, dude, you good? Dude, wake up. We gotta go home. Dude, you got so crazy tonight, dude. You got so fucked up. Hello, my name is Brian Stellis, and I work as facility caretaker. Bunny Smiles Incorporated. Well, he's smiling, all right. Company introductory tape. Good shit, good shit. I, you know, I think it really... This has significantly more appeal for me than I remember it having. I think I really was just not in a uh, mood to watch something like this when I did. And I've had some time away from new analog horror things. So I I'm taking to this better than I did the last time I tried to watch it. So, you know, onward we go. Bunny Smiles Incorporated. He's got the Sherlock hat on. No, that's a hard hat. Look, look at him, dude. They, this is in a purely platonic way. That's so... That's adorable! That's ador Come on! The Reload Kit Project is the name of this one. Bruh, he got the green top. He's got the green top, man. You really made your, your hut out of dirt. He's just a silly little guy who's actually a murderous endoskeleton robot. Thanks to the Prime sub. Oh, wait, right. Where the fuck are the subtitles? From the Bond Burgers brand and the Bunny Smiles company for the better. That's right, after four long years of legal paperwork. He's a businessman. He's a businessman. He, he's putting together uh, multiple write-ups for the executive board uh, so he can keep his position as CEO and therefore maintain control of the company. He is fearful of losing his job because he craves power. Thank you for the thousand bits, that cat thieves. We finally decided to use our backup plan, which we created after the tragic closure of Bond's Burgers back on July 20th, 1974. Ladies and gentlemen, we now present to you the Relocate Project. That's a significantly less appealing character design for him. Before we go into details, we want to greet all the new Bunny Smiles employees. With the company greeting out of the way. Let's yeah, if you wanted to greet them by scaring the shit out of them, that video of an animatronic was perfect. Analyzing the relocate project by checking what has happened ever since the closure of Bonds four years ago. As many of you might have known from previous dates, our beloved entertainers were safely secured in St. Juana's storage facility some months after the restaurant's closure. L. <laughs> Later on, a good amount of business drive by jump scare, appear, such as books, merch, animated movies. We even got a TV show. That's when Felix Kranken had the brilliant idea of restore and reprogram the robots of Bond's Burgers with the purpose of relocating them in a new restaurant that would be opened in a not so distant future. Why, why is this? Why is why is that hand gripping his shoulder damn hard? He's like trying to squeeze his shoulder into powder. Them in a new restaurant that would be opened in a not so distant future. A pretty smart plan, right? Making Thanks for the sub. To eventually reopen the Bond's Burgers restaurant is no doubt a brilliant idea. So let's give it up for Felix Kranken, a man with not only a giant brain, but also a giant heart. I, I thought they were going to say a giant cock. It's, um... I, don't like, I do not like the way he's staring at me. Little penis nose, do not like the way he's staring at me. Jerba! Jerba! Model used, Banny created in 
She's looking in two directions at once. The mouth is a pre-relocate feature. Wait, what did that say? I'm watching this at normal speed, right? I just need, I just need to double check. It's a pre-relocate feature, however, it still requires checking since the reprogramming could have affected it. Blink, the feature is brand new. And should, should I be stopping to read all of these, or is it just kind of a uh, window dressing? I, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get a feel for what things I should be pausing on to examine, or what I should just be like letting long play. Still got the white ass teeth? I mean, she takes care of them. The feature is be exclusive. Employees must always clean the eye socket. A dirty eye could affect the blink feature. <laughs> Talk about a Karen! <laughs> Minions level dental care, man, I'm telling you. Annoyed slash bored. When she becomes annoyed slash bored, entertain her quickly or you will soon perish. Thanks for the sub. Surprised. I can tell the difference. It's just like looking at a human face. Looking for friends, customers. She looks fucked up a little bit. A little bit. She's looking pretty hard, huh? Very determined to, you know, just provide a great experience for the customer. <laughs> there was a human inside that animatronic. Modern day soy jack. Why does she just leave? I don't get it. There's like four doors there. Just like stop going back through them, idiot. It's really easy. Like, I don't know. I'm just way smarter than this rabbit, honestly. Stun lock, stun lock. Then eat, dummy. Would you like some Imperial IPA Voodoo Ranger? That's all I got. Also, this is really loud for me, and apparently my microphone is peaking. How bad, how, um, how was the audio balancing with my voice? Because I'm pretty close to the microphone. <laughs> Skill issue. <laughs> this is just like Call of Duty World at War. I don't know, Bond's hotter. I don't get it. Dude, I like got gas in my chest. I'm gonna go, I'll be right back guys. Like I have fucking uh, like some gas pain that like been, I've been dealing with all day. I'm gonna go take some Adderall real quick. Not, Ad not Adderall, Advil, 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 fuck. Holy shit. I repeat, guys, I am not doing Adderall. I am not doing Adderall. <laughs> Somebody woke up on the wrong side of the bed. <laughs> Tape number three, created in June. <coughs> Excuse me.
Buddy Farm. Classic game. I love going to the arcade to play that. Look, they're such a happy little family, guys. That nothing will ever separate them because they are such good friends. Bunny smiles technical support. Welcome to technical support. Today we will focus on the area tour and orientation inside K9, the Bunny Smile storage facility. We recommend all facility caretakers to have all needed equipment in hand and to always wear the Bunny Smile uniform. Purple guy. But most Purple. You must always, under any circumstance, use your BSIID card. Hello, my name is Once Brian. I am dead. Equipment at hand. We are ready to go. Hello, I see you made it to the storage facility. Thank you for the sub. You must be very excited and nervous to start working here. But let's stop and think. Do you have all the necessary items for your job tasks? I thought so. Let's put on a nice backpack and start packing some items. Let's check the items you will require for your job at K9. Lantern? Check. Snack? Are they- dude, are they British? They call it a lantern? A lantern? At least call it a torch, bro. Fucked up. Check. Key? Check. Camera? Check. <laughs> it's looking at me. It's looking at me funny. Both of them are looking at me funny. Wow, it's pretty dark here. You should turn on the light. Turn on the light. Turn on the light. It's literally on. Turn on the- My ring light's literally on. It's important to keep track of which rooms you enter. This place can be really tricky and you could get lost very easily. This is the resting room. In this room, you can sit down, rest, talk with co-workers, you name it. Remember to always treat this room as clean and organized as possible. A clean environment helps to get tasks done faster. A dirty environment only makes your job harder to get done. Am I watching like a Marie Kondo Netflix special? Like what's happening here? Wait. Guys, Secret Smash Brothers character. The dummy from Undertale. of the place. In front of you, you will find three doors. There is a body in each them. one. The first door is used to save any kind of cleaning items and supplies. The second door is used to save a kind of prizes and merch that was available in a Bond's Burgers restaurant. The third door is used to hide... Oh, she looks sad. Welcome to the basement. Did, right now. Did she just call me a slur? Did she just call me a slur? Holy fuck. That is not okay. You cannot say shit like that. That is not okay. You wow, wow, wow. That is so messed up. Not cool. Not cool, Shaw. You are in the main storage area. As you can see, this is the room where we storage more important items such as stages, tables, arcade machines, and birthday props. Now, please follow me to the next door. Thank you for the prime sub, Ray. <laughs> she didn't even leave through the door, she just dematerialized. Remember to avoid touching or shining lights with our robots unless you are a facility technician. Now let's move on to the next room. Aww. How odd. I remember we visited this room already. I tear- oh! She's not doing so hot. She's not- she's not doing so hot, huh? You know, you're usually not supposed to bleed from your eyes. You might want to get that checked out. It's not, uh, great for you in my experience. Oh, that's a person. By the time the lady entered the backstage, as the voice told her to, missing husband wasn't there. Instead, she found a rabbit. Rabbit with real teeth. Real human teeth. Very lifelike. Rose broken will fix you. You will beautiful. You will beautiful. You will beautiful. 
Usually those are supposed to be together, you know? Yeah, there's a dummy. There's a person inside inside a shop. Very cool. When she woke up, she looked beautiful. But on the inside, What's the name? Does it become more visible? The following footage was recorded during July 1978 on which three Bunny Smiles technicians volunteered to stay three days in the BSI storage facility for the purpose of reprogramming the animatronics in order to execute the relocate project. Thanks to the sub. <clears throat> the employees left to right are Hillary B, Ashley P, and Kevin W. Looks like a picture of the Beatles. <laughs> Looks like the Beatles, man. Thanks to the sub, Frog Popsicle. So, it's the folks who made Abbey Road. The next footage shows the three employees restoring the Bonds Burger animatronics. It's inter it's interesting like the words they choose to capitalize the first letter of. Inside the restaurant. Jeez. So yeah, yeah. Some hours after that specific case was reported, restaurant decided to close its doors, probably because authorities needed to check the place or something. Um what's weird about this is that the last day bonds was open, they only let like one or two families in. And they mentioned later that the animatronics like the entertainers were completely absent in the current pose. Well, that's odd. <laughs> all that, all that fucking big ass explanation. Like, yeah, the place we're going into and are gonna camp out for three days in might be haunted. In the animatronics, we're completely missing. A lot of things pointing to murder here. It's a bit weird. A bit strange. It's a little, little oddball. A little, little weird that that happened. But ah. Huh. This forest reminds me of that movie. The, uh... <laughs> this is just like that one doctor. Strange. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre? <laughs> I was like, <laughs> let's do the Texas Chainsaw Massacre in real life. Anyways, let's continue to do the same thing. Don't you think I should take some time? I mean, we gotta move on with the others soon enough to finish everything by Friday. I mean, yes. But I think we should make them look as new as possible. That's the point, that's the point of this whole project, right? Um, I think we should restore yes. as much as we can, but thing. Yes, but if we keep focusing on these small details, the reprogramming of the robots won't be finished. Hey Kevin, I doubt we can add the blink and eyes feature on this one. I talk is a really damage. Someone, Someone took a shotgun and blew his chest cavity out. You're not getting it. You're not reassessing that thing at all. I don't. I don't know how you could stand there and watch it twitch, like twitch and stuff. I don't know how you could stand there and watch it twitch and be like, "Yeah, we could still do work on it. It probably won't come to life." I think all these holes in the suit and stuff were made after the closing. What do you mean? When the place closed down, some of them tests the company who created the robots. How to revise them after noticing a good amount of irregularities in them. During the process, they probably did this mess to get to the underscale. Good night, guys. I do not believe that was a systematic, like, attempt to get the endoskeleton. That- that was the- that was buckshot. That was buckshot to the chest. It's so cold in this place. Look at this key. What? Have you noticed how the company gives us this tiny key but never mentioned its purpose? Just, just stick it in rice. I mean, yeah, it'll be all good after that. Exactly. It has to be something interesting. Maybe, but we're, uh, running out of time. Just focus on finishing these robots by tomorrow. Right. Good night. Hello. It ain't gonna be a good night, I promise. The last party today. Really? So, yeah. Bad news. Your programming page was unsuccessful. 
had a lot of inconveniences when we tried to restore the robots. Some damaged parts in the end of the guns and models made it impossible to add the new features. And let's not forget the fact that we didn't have enough time to end the project. Yeah, we hope we can go back with better equipment and a better deadline. As Hillary said, we're begging the company to allow us to return to a more organized plan. But for now, this ends the reprogramming phase for the uh, uh, relocation project. And log. They should have done what yeah, every human exactly. would do. The thing I mean, is, they're getting, like, paid and shit, so they can't not... They have to do the... Listen, man, if, if they're getting paid good money... Yeah, I'll risk, an, I'll risk a few nights in a haunted animatronic warehouse. But it's gotta be good money. I'm using the camera because I am in a binary where this key leads to. I'm sure whatever this key hides could save the project. I'll show this footage to you guys once you wake up. I know you guys told me not to wander around, but I genuinely think this small key could be a lifesaver. The back, the back room, the back, it's like the song, guys, it's like the song, I'm, it's like the song I made. Sorry, my apologies. He leads to this door, they have back doors. It seems like a small area, so I'll just go take a little peek, see if I can find anything interesting, and then go back. Simple. You think these people are minimum wage workers? To me, this seems like very specialist labor. Like, you have to go through lots of training, have like, like at least a bachelor's in order to do this kind of work. I don't know, like, they, they, they must be making some sort of salary. Or at least been on, like, very lucrative contract work. I will simply open every door and hope nothing There's kills me. There's some empty rooms with boring stuff. I came across this door, which, uh, which was open. Kind of weird. Anyway, this room seems to have some spare endo pieces, and from the looks of it, some unused animatronics, I guess? I won't go into detail about what I find since I'm in a rush, of course, and uh, this, this room number 26 or 27, I, I think, um, as you can see here, there are some uh, spare heads, nothing I interested in to be on. <laughs> Good ending, she just got tetanus. Oh, that looks 3D as hell. Yeah, this is um, bizarre. I can't really tell if this buddy is a robot or a puppet, but like, you know, why is it hanging on the wall? This is really weird. <laughs> Bro got texture blasted. So this is the last door. I am... I've never seen this clown thing before. It's really... Like, there's absolutely no way I'm getting close to that thing. I'll probably wait till you guys see this video and come down here with me so we can take a close... Um, I found this. I'm pretty sure that clown thing had a cassette player installed. So I guess I'll have to be brave and uh, try and see what this whole thing is. I don't really know why this dude has a cassette player thing installed. But my guess is that it's used for, um, for birthday parties. Like, you know, play a customized tape or something? I don't know. But we're about to find out. <laughs> put the new, dude, put the new Kendrick album on cassette in its like little belly. And it's like, 27 with new G-Wagon! <laughs> Sorry. I, it always comes back to Kendrick with me. Guys, don't, don't like spoil for like when scary shit's about to happen, would you? This is, at this point, I would simply sprint in the uh, like opposite direction. Hey, it's the Pharrell 4 count! Charles, Rosemary, Sophie. <laughs> oh, get fucked. Hillary moment. I can't, so this is why she lost the election. Sorry. Oh, that's Ashley? Oops. Awkward. Hello, I'm Billy, the, 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 the funny movie clown. Do I, 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 I see you, so? If not, then we're in the land of oops, they lost this no now, 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 now. Jesus. 
Jeez. Jeez. Oh. Wait, wait, what was that? What was that? What was that? There was like some shit there. The next day, they thought Ashley left early, but she was in the back door screaming as much as she could. But no one heard the screams. The following days, the caretakers would complain about an awful smell coming from the back doors. They were the five gift subs, Cat The Company decided to shut down the facility until new advice. The relocate project was unsuccessful. Ashley's still there, but she's not screaming anymore. She saw something she wasn't supposed to see, and now she's beautiful. I don't know, it looks a little like she got run over by a car. Like, just like, <laughs> flat under the tire, you know what I mean? Oh, Hillary was someone different. Awkward! Okay, next one. Lucky you! She kind of fought. You say that after she's been stuffed in the animatronic? For real? Are you being- for real? <laughs> wow, she got a glow up for real. I gotta hit up Bond. That dude knows what he's doing with the whole makeup shit, like the makeover shit, man. Runs a, run, runs a solid business out there. Hey, quite. You're the one who liked the man behind the slaughter stuff? Yeah, but that's like different. We're dating. You're just down bad. See, the difference between this is that Springtrap is, like, my partner who I live with. These are all fictional characters, which is why you guys are weird. First birthday party. The first one ever? Like, the first one ever done ever? That's crazy. <sighs> I wish I looked like that. Thanks for the 500 bits, Jin. Thank you for the smiles. Bond Burgers. This- they only lasted a month, jeez. They went out of business quick. Bond's Burgers closed down. Storage facility, K not. Can you imagine, like, you have a storage facility that's quarantined in the woods, but you still put the, like, the mascot logo on it? That's so funny. That's so funny. They got price tags? Stop being horny for animatronics. You came to the wrong stream for that. Really sorry. You must be so confused about what you saw. Don't be scared, my little bunny. Answers will be given eventually, but... Yeah, that's- is that Bond's version of calling us his kittens? It, it's bunny instead of kitten? That's messed up, man. You could've just- you could've just used the traditional term and been less weird. Don't try to solve this puzzle only with the pieces you have so far. This is only the beginning. For I'm going to tell you a story of broken people. Beautiful people. He is so sorry about what he did to them. But there's nothing he can do. Remember that. Safety and pills, Sophie. 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 I wonder what Sophie's up to these days. Safety and pills, Sophie. Safety and pills, Sophie. Safety and pills, Sophie. I, it, it's been said so much that it's not even words in my head anymore. You know when you repeat a phrase over and over again and it just loses all meaning? It's like saying the same word a hundred times in a row, dude. Safety and pills, Sophie. Thank you for the a hundred bits, Dacrophobia. Safety and pills, Sophie. Safety and pills. Oh, dude, the, the fucking... They use the everything everywhere at the end of time. 
or everything at the end of time dementia album drill remix wait 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 wait, wait. i know this is this is for a good cause guys this is for a good cause the song the pose guys i i got i got i got to i got to the drill remix this is important this is the this is important to me it, it, it's just a burning memory but it's a drill beat should have used this version instead shit wait, wait. you listen to all six hours you're insane you're actually an insane person Yo, yo, yeah, I got my ring like them, gonna go, I don't wanna be like them I'm British, I'm spitting, yeah, I got hell of bitches Yeah, it's so easy to sound British, man, it's so easy Yeah, I'm in my game of chair shitting, pissing, dicking Come on, all of the money, come on, need me some water <laughs> British people are so funny, British people are so funny sounding Not exactly the same, you know? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> oh, I'm such a- I'm wasting your guys' time, I'm really sorry. Oh, didn't it? We must be patient. Cyber fun. Why does the endoskeleton have eyelashes of all things to be built in? laugh and sit along <laughs> guys we totally didn't do that we didn't laugh and sing along to their misfortune that's not something we did they're perfect they are beautiful they will see you soon sophie Commercial. Make sure the sub Raylan HD with Prime, so it was free. Bunny Smiles, Bunny Games, Smiles presents. Games presents a revolutionary game in the arcade industry, perfect for every kid and adult alike. Today, Bunny Smiles Inc. takes another step into the future with Bunny Farm. Bunny Farm! It's like the Facebook one, but with bunnies! That's right. Play your favorite characters in a fun and exciting adventure. Solve puzzles, enjoy parties, and most importantly, have fun. Bunny Farms is the most futuristic arcade game with state-of-the-art technology and features such as advanced graphics, oh! file saving system, <gasps> no way. voice acting, no way. and much, much more. Bunny Farm is the ideal game for everyone, and soon a Bunny Farm machine could be your nearest arcade. Bunny Farm, coming soon at local arcades in Brighton. Oh, they keep reminding me this is a place called Brighton, man. Why has it got to be in England? Play with us. It'll be lots of fun, 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 lots of fun. Me when my coworkers are dead. I wonder what will happen. The Walton Files Three. Bunny Farm. Oh, this was the trailer for number three, I guess. Why you lagging? Am I? Guys, I wonder if this will be lots of fun. Oh, no fucking no wait, no shot. Sagan Hawks was in this. That's so funny. I didn't know I didn't know he voice acted in this. That's cool. Alright, here's the fucking big one, boys. 
This one's an hour long. Holy shit. We're going to be sat here for a fat minute, all right? And because of that, because of that, I'm going to take this opportunity with all 1,500 of you in chat. Holy shit, I feel like an, I feel like a 1K Andy. I'm going to run an ad break. Give me money. Fellas, I don't think we're there yet, but this might be one of those special streams, one of those special streams where I have to leave in the middle of it to do a, a fat shit. But in the meantime, I'm going to do one of them yoga poses. Any dice? Any dice? <laughs> it worked! It worked! It worked. Thanks for the gift sub, Jacqueline. Appreciate it. I can do it on command! I'm winning! I'm literally, like, I'm the ultimate specimen. I'm a higher tier of life form. Consider activity inside a local form. Important. So, wh which character is this supposed to be? Is this Sophie or, um, fucking Ashley? I just want to make sure I'm getting the continuity in my head right, because tracking these things is hard. You guys took the ADHD quiz for me. You know how I am. This is Sophie? Okay, this is Sophie. And she was like... One of the kids that got murdered? You need to turn on subtitles? It is on. Yeah, it's on the, it's on the, it's on the right ones. Quite the subtitles help. They're on, don't worry. I always wear, watch subtitles on stream if I can. Probably a good idea to say epilepsy warning. I don't see it getting like any less uh, flickery than it is now. Hey, quite. You came from the spring trap fan art video. Proof that first impressions aren't everything. What do you mean? That was a great first impression. You got a very fucking honest look at what the streams are like from that video. What do you mean? Sophie Walton. Okay, okay. 
22 years old. Huh, she's like my age in canon. Jenny Letterson. 26 years old, born 1956. Footage from October 15th, 1982. That was one of your best videos? I do too, and it did really well. I'm glad that you guys enjoyed those kind of like bit-driven community-focused shit. Like, I'd love to do that again. Not that exact concept, but something like it. Bunny smiles games. That's not a bunny. It is smiling, though. I'll give him that. Bunny Smiles Incorporated Beta Tester. Don't call me a beta ever again. You you won't you won't like my my guy Andrew Tate will set you right. Yeah, this is the game I wanted to show you, Sam. Oh, huh. nice. Yeah, I played it for a while. I thought you would enjoy it. <laughs> Thanks. Also, uh, they installed the machine in the basement of the building not so long ago, so please try to be careful. The janitor oh. Oh. told me these hey. are hella hey. expensive what? and delicate. What? Oh, what? I see. What? What? So, do I start the game? Sorry. And delicate. Try to be I got, careful. I got carried away. The janitor told me these are hella expensive. And delicate too. Oh, I see. So, do I start the game? Yeah, let's go. Right, so you gotta choose a name now. <laughs> I see your name over there. <laughs> yeah, but the idea is that you play the game from scratch. I see. Uh, put my name over here then. So. Fuck. <laughs> Shit, I can't go back. So. <laughs> Dumbass. What the hell kind of a name is so? Th this was another thing I'm planning on doing soon. I'm gonna start the Modern Warfare 2 campaign soon. Um, for anybody who's not caught up, we'll watch a recap of Modern Warfare 1. <coughs> but MW2 has so many fucking more moments than MW1. <laughs> huh. Huh. Alright gang, gather around. What is it, Mr. B? Yeah, what is- So, the state-of-the-art game is a visual novel? Is it on? Oh, don't tell me you guys forgot about today. Any One oh, Piece hat. I know, I know, ask me! Please, I know, ask me! Anyone else aside from Benny? <sighs> Alright, Benny. What day is it today? Right. Today is the annual fruit festival. We do a huge party on the restaurant every year. Oh, I forgot about that. Oh, heavens, me too. <laughs> look at, the, look, dude, look at all the stick figures in the background just well, populated in the place. I'm sure this party is much better than last year's, right? Well, uh, I need all of you to put your fruits in these baskets. You guys want fruits. It's a bit, right? It's a bit fruity. Uh, no. Oh heavens, what are we gonna do? Oh no! Is the fruit festival cancelled, Mr. B? Oh, you dumb salamanders. The important part. Hell, I couldn't help but notice you guys need fruits real quick. My barn's filled with all kinds of fruits. Say, why don't you guys do me a small favor and I'll give you all the fruits you need. Yes! Barn adventure! I love barns! I wanna see the pigs and the chickens and the animals and the barns and the pigs! <laughs> Alright, Pete. Well, That'll be fun. All of us working. Billy! What? Billy! 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 Billy moment. He... Billy just popped up the same way Anthony did in the spring trap video. Just the shark in the toilet out of nowhere. Well, what do we mean? Eat the hippo. Hmm. Pete's you not know, a very hippo ass Something I like about the game is the, uh, the artwork. I don't know why, but there is something- Danny loves birds. She loves to hear birds sing, too. Do you like birds? That, that seems, uh, really familiar to me. Huh. Right, I should show you the controls so you don't have a hard time playing later on. Mm, alright. Okay, okay. This sprite so... art is really sick, by the way. Like, it's, it's really thematically fitting, and it- Um, sprites are- feel like they're- or at least old sprites feel like they're meant to be looked at through a VCR kind of screen, so it fits the aesthetic really well. You use this thing to move around. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you use these buttons to interact with stuff. Yeah. 
Apples. Apples. I played this game for a while a few days ago, and I noticed a, a bit of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. This yeah. Game... No. If my if I had this on my computer, it would be running at a really smooth like 120 FPS. Well, I don't know what kind of like poo poo computer they're running this on, but my gamer rig is way better. I, like I. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. It looks very unfinished. I saw a ton of errors and shit while playing the levels, and it crashed a couple of times, too. Huh. That's strange, but then again, the game did clarify it was a beta test when we turned on the machine. Yeah, when BSI installed these machines, they clarified that as well, but here's the thing. These glitches are very freaky. Yeah, the machine grows an arm and pulls out a knife and robs you. If I'm totally honest. Yeah, imagine this game with 120 F plus ray tracing and like a, like a 10, like a, like a, dude, imagine this with a 1024 by 1024 pick texture pack. Oh my God. Be such an improvement. And my gamer rig could do it. Um, that's why I wanted to show you this in the first place. I know you're into that. Yes, I. Funny smiles. Quite. It's an arcade cabinet from the 80s. Yeah. So dog shit compared to my rig. That's all I'm hearing. It's just not as good as what I'm running, you know, and not everybody, not everybody can have, can be as much of a gamer as me, but, you know, these couple of girls come off like some fake gamers to me. Oh, I love video games. Yeah, arcade cabinets. You would, bud. You would. It's incorporated. Okay, enough, enough. Got your honor. The misogyny was ironic. Have I heard that name before? I mean, that company has been pretty relevant these past few weeks. Didn't you hear? What? What happened? some weird rumors and shit. Apparently there was this one employee that drove to some forest a few days ago, not too far away from here actually. He hasn't been seen around ever since he drove to that place. Really? Yeah. The word got out quickly. Some family members say it was his first day. Should have been better at the job. Well, what's his name? Um, Brian, I think? Brian. Hey, Stella. He's doing all right. Same. Well, who knows? Maybe he's okay. I mean, it's been a while since he was last seen, right? Brighton's not that big of a town, anyways. They would have found him by now. Reminds me of this other girl. N there's more. This young employee named Ashley. Young adult. Very pretty. <laughs> She became some sort of. Oh, uh, you, you, young adult, very pretty. First thing she thinks of, mm, so, it, something fruity. There's something fruity about it. There's something. Urban legend around here. Why? People say she died inside of some old bunker from the company. Her body was never found. Most say she was privately buried. Others say she's still inside that place. Oh, she's inside something, all right. You should have seen the last episode of The Walton Files. See, this is what I don't get with series like The Walton Files. The characters always, like, had these mysteries. It's like, it's like, what happened to Ashley? No one knows. Didn't you watch the last video, idiot? God. When you, like, it was right, it just happened. It was, it was like less than 30 minutes of content ago. You should know. Sophie. God. Sounds like a made-up story to get little kids away from that forest. And we should probably just continue with the game. Yeah, they, like, fa like, Sophie is very clearly a fake fan of the Walton Files, otherwise she would have kept up with the lore up till now. I don't know. She just doesn't seem that invested in the fandom like she should be. <laughs> yeah, who wants to hear about this kind of shit while playing some child's game, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, who likes a kid's game? Not Guys, I don't like kid's games. I would never play anything made for... Children below the age of 12? That's not something I do. You good, Sophie? Oh, yeah. I was just thinking about, um... Anyways, so... Bobby the Hippo was the original owner of the town. He has two sons, Pete the Hippo and Johnny the Hippo. Bobby made the promise of creating the best quality barn in the world. Rip Bobby, older year to other year. Just farted. Do I have to, like... Do we have to go to a certain- Thanks to the sub, Nurse Cryptid. ...character, or...? Ah, um, if you get close to a certain character, it'll let you access their level. Oh, neat. Peanut mm -hmm. ass body. I don't like this one. It looks boring. Aw, she's my favorite character. Oh well, it's up to you, really.
lore. Stop farting, I hate you. Apples. That's fine, but I'm not gonna stop farting. I like apples too. <laughs> I got shit to do, you know what I mean? I also have uh, intestinal issues, so I couldn't really not fart if I wanted to. It's painful. I like. Uh, that's not confirmed, it's just like I'm having gas right now. Do you really want the streamer to be in pain and therefore delivering worse content? Little, little, little parasocial you, huh? Clam one. Alrighty, press this button. Indigestion? That's the word, indigestion. Uh, Would you like prefer us to want you to fart or for you to not fart? I would prefer for you to be like adults and not and not have like a, a strong opinion on it either way. Just let it be. I told you this game was a little broken. I can tell. Fun fact. You know, I you are keep gay. thinking about bunny smiles. It sounds so familiar. This game is bringing back so many memories, but it's so hard to just remember exactly. Ah. Uh. Sorry, um, probably just boring you with random thoughts. You cannot physically make worse content? Watch me, bro. Fuck it, watch me. You think I've hit a low? I can go even lower, motherfucker. I can waste your time in even more effective ways. You have no idea. Don't test me on this. Of my stuff. No, no, no. Not at all, Sophie. However, I do, uh, I gotta do some other stuff. I got this one essay I need to finish. I'll see you around. Oh, all right. Just talk to me in case you have any questions regarding the game, okay? Yeah, yeah, Hi, Barn. Billy! Wait, shouldn't you be in the barn with the rest of the gang? Yeah, everything perfect. I'm supposed to solve this fight, but most of the stuff I need is located in the ridiculously complex puzzles. Say, could you help me out to solve the puzzles? Alright, first we need to get the party hats. They should be in the big... This okay. clown's talking to itself. Kind of an idiot. There's no one there. It's just you, bud. Good track. Now we need. Uh. I love this. Oh, I, I don't. I, I don't like how like pixelated but real that is in the background, man. Not a fan. All right. How do I? This animation is really believable as janky game-like, if that makes sense. I think it's super well done. Thanks for the sub, Marika. Mariki, appreciate it. Why are you echoing? How many times do I have to tell you guys I live in an enormously large house and I'm just incredibly rich? Like, when are you gonna get it? Sophie is the first ever Let's Player. behind me like that. Not a fan. Alright, first we need to get the party hats. They should be in the basement. More than I thought. Little scuffed, little scuffed. Hey, it's not any worse than Fallout 76. Am I right, guys? Am I right, guys? That's a that's a popular game to hate. I'm I'm just I'm guys, I'm hip like you. I really I I'm I'm with it. I get it. I'm <sighs> sorry. You're playing it right now? Okay, that's more embarrassing. Quite as just like the other girls. Oh, what the fuck is wrong with this level, man? This looks decrepit. 
do I have to... Oh, I see. The lean level. Like, it looks like this is a, like this eye is part of this background socket, and this is a really distorted face. It's freaking me out. It's like the Gigas background from Earthbound. You already lost, give up. Come on, the bottom one, the bottom one, the bottom one. No, no, the bot. Oh, you idiot. If you had done this one, then he would have to have crossed out this one, but then you could have put that one on the top and you would have won. Oh my God, this fool. You literally had it in the bag. You suck at tic-tac-toe. And so does the other guy, because he could have blocked your ass on this too. He just didn't. There we go. Wait, no, he would have won? Guys, it turns out I'm the idiot, and that he would have won, and that was actually the correct move to have made. Um, it turns out I'm insane. This is not news. I, I am an unreliable narrator given form. There we go. You are an AO3 tag in real life? Did, are, are you, are, you're kidding, right? Like, um, you know an unreliable narrator is like a literary term and not just like an AO3 thing, right? Right? You know that's like, exists beyond fanfiction, right? Oh god, oh god. Mods, you don't have to- you don't gotta nuke people for just mentioning AO3. It's already part of the brand. Uh, what's that? Horse. Jenny? See, at this point, I would simply leave the room and pretend I didn't touch that shit. Footage from October 16th. What exactly happened yesterday? I don't know. The game just... It just crashed. I was playing, and the game just kept showing weird visuals. He huh. tweaking? Yeah, it was so weird. Like if I was being told something, I guess. Huh. Like a message? Maybe. <laughs> Big Spyro <laughs> Agnew fan. How are you? How are you, Xander? I don't know. Maybe. One time where I was playing, and there would be times which I would do certain stuff that would cause the game to glitch and display some. Guys, rare Wee Woo mod appearance. For those of you who don't know, Wee Woo is a very rare specimen to see in the wild. Wee Woo, rare, rare Wee Woo sighting. Incredible. Bizarre visuals and stuff. Anyways, it's getting very late. You sure you want to play right now? Why not just wait so we can play together tomorrow morning? I mean, you can go to sleep if you want, Jenny. It's got Wee Woo chat. Right. It's Good a privilege and an honor. You should feel, you should yeah. feel grateful. Why is it 3D now? That's new. Oh no, there is a high chance bennyfarm.ppx file data has been corrupted or its information has been altered or replaced by a third party. We recommend you unplug the machine immediately. Opening the file may lead to unknown glitches and errors in the levels. If you do want to continue, however, we warn you the machine could suffer major changes and 
in uh, its worst case, a complete shutdown, deleting all valuable information in it. Do you still wish to continue? Yes. Fuck. Don't tell me I lost all my progress, because I... I'm not entering that clan level again. I think... This, this is a save where the glitch occurred, and I really feel like I should dig deeper into this. Me when I make the wrong decision? I'm expecting to see a bunch of glitches since, like, the save file is corrupted, so... Yeah. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Sophie talks to herself like I talk to you guys. She narrates like she has a Twitch chat to talk to, but she's just alone in a basement in the 80s. She was ahead of- Sophie was so ahead of the game, man. Jeez. Huh. Hippo. So, par part of me wonders if they fully animated this, or if they, like, if they thought it would be easier to animate the sprites um, in, in, like, a video editing software, or if they decided to make, like, a really rough game demo that they could record and do all these actions in. Like, I I'm curious, like, what would have been the more effective method and what Martin Walls was going for in that time. You think it's a game? That would make sense. Because it, the it's tweening, I believe. It could be, but the tweening is really consistent and believable. Like, the movement feels like it could be like a jank video game. Like, I feel like I'm looking at FNAF World if it didn't suck gameplay right now. So, it, I wouldn't be surprised if it was, like, whipped together in Game Maker for the purposes of just being recorded. All right. Let's go. Those are pigs. Are they? I did not check. Those are pigs. Oh, they're real life pigs. It's just a straight up photo. Whoa, Too consistent to be tweened. And like, if you were just making the overworld, like these bits would be easy enough to do in a video editing software. These visual novel-esque bits would be easy enough to do in an editing software that you don't need to worry about them too much. But just an overworld movement thing, you could make really easily in Game Maker. And then you just do uh, like VHS filters to get that kind of staticky effect in post. And I don't know, it just seems like it would be easier to put all those assets in an actual playable game, so to speak. Why, hello there. Whoa, <laughs> Lesbians canon in year Why, 1980. She's soy facing for real. Original soy face. Oh, pretty horse girl. I'm supposing you two are here to help me feed the pigs, right? Yep. 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 You want to take care of them and play with them and kiss them and rub them and play with them? <laughs> All right. I need you two to pay attention to what I say and follow the instructions I give you. Okay. So. First of all, do not open the cages unless I tell you to. What would be funny if I open the cage? I think it would be really funny. I think it would be really, really funny. Yeah, I think I'm gonna open the cage now. Yeah. What did you do to the animals? What happened to them? Oh no, Benny! What have you done? All the pigs have escaped. Look at the left side of the screen behind the apple tree. Is that SCP-173? Or am I tripping? Hippo house. Danny, you dumb bunny. <laughs> I really thought he was going to say something way meaner. He's like, Danny, you dumb bitch. I'm so sick of you, motherfucking... What? Wait, what was that? What was that? I was just trying to help. Why, why is the barn looking at me? No, I was going to say, why is it looking at me like that? But you can legit just cut it off at, why is it looking at me? It, it put, listen, to the barn. An open, this is an open letter to the barn. If you have eyelids, 
Please close them and just keep them that way. Would be much appreciated. It looks like they each entered a different- Advi, this is just like your barn? Oh, okay. So this is like a typical barn thing. See, I, I didn't grow up around those kind of things, so I wouldn't know. That's, um, I guess that's my bad for being ignorant on that. Door. We'll have to find keys. Look at the right. It's the pig? Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know what I'm looking for. It looks like they each entered a different door. We'll have to find keys for each door. Oh, he he was right there. You're right. Okay, so for each door. Oh, I I was only looking at this. I thought it was Sky. That makes sense. He's right there. On the right, you blind man. Well, the first person said left, and you guys don't need to insult me, okay? Only I should be insulting you. Don't you get that? God. Some people have no courtesy. Okay, so basically you're supposed to be really good to me, and I can treat you however I want. Don't you don't you get it? We'll have to catch the pigs. I think. Okay, huh. Gotta find the keys for these doors. I'm already starting to notice a few errors. Mm. No, he fell asleep first. Let's prank him, John! I see the blue key under that coach. Very cool. Shit, it worked. You ever had that eureka moment when you you're figuring something out in the game and it's like, oh damn, I did it. Blows your mind, man. Oh no. Um, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, oh, all right. Uh, Thanks for the sub, Gallant Knight. Um, uh, it. It's looking a little fucky wucky, guys. I'm not gonna lie to you. This game needed some more. See, needed some more QA testing before it went public. Okay, I think I know what to do. Yeah, there we go. I noticed that these errors act in a certain way, as if that unknown error mentioned earlier was something or someone trying to talk to me or trying to get me to do something. Like if whatever is going on wants to get me to do something because especially because these have all occurred when I interact with the characters, could it have something to do with them? What are we playing? We're not playing anything, we're watching The Walton Files. Uh, it's an analog horror series that I have neglected to finish for a while now, so we're I'm making the plunge and actually reading it all the way through. Why are the tiles changing? It's a picture matching puzzle. You're supposed to cycle through the individual pictures it could be to create a full, a full uh, frame image, and that's probably like what gives you the win. I've also noticed that I talk to myself a lot. You think? You're telling me. Susan Woodings. What did that say? What was that? What was that? What was that? What was that? Door. <clears throat> BSI Techno Support, audio log number three, uh, June 30th, 1974. Jeremy's birthday party finished an hour ago. 
I decided to stay and help the employers clean the place. This week has uh, been uh, strange, especially because of the opening. Uh, I find it weird that they opened the place even though Mr. Wharton disappeared a few weeks ago. I hope he's doing all right. Rosemary came in today and asked if we'd seen him around. Uh, I'm pretty worried about it. Felix seems very concerned and worried too. Uh, uh, anyway, the birthday party, uh, the birthday party, yes. Uh, everything went according to plan. Uh, this was the first birthday party in the restaurant and I feel it turned out pretty well. Uh, I noticed a few irregularities in the stage and in the audio animatronics as the engineer. So, I, I'm, thank you for the sub, Wordy. But I, I look at some of these drawings and it feels like they could have been 3D modeled. Like, this is we weirdly three-dimensional if it is actually like a traditional 2D drawing. Not traditional, but like a digital, like, 2D drawing. And the person who basically built the animatronics to begin with, it was easier to notice these. Uh, it, especially in Bond. Uh, that something, something fell off. Uh, the limbs If it is two-dimensional, that's good perspective work. weren't moving properly. They looked stiff and odd, mainly in his right arm. It took a few more minutes to take him to the backstage, just to make sure everything's okay. I'm the only one left. Uh, Chris left some hours ago, and Felix didn't even show up. I'll leave and close the restaurant when I'm finished. I'm sure it's not going to take long. <laughs> Your new player icon is Susan Woodings, everybody's favorite Bonds Burgers animatronic. Is Susan Woodings who Shaw is? Oh. Someone in chat said, why the long face? <laughs> <laughs> it's not that funny. It's not that funny, but it... <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Fuck you, whoever said that. Fuck you. Good job. Flip note Hatena. Oh, that's just a black and white image rendering of her body. Very cool. Susan Yossified. Level complete! Guys, we did it! We did it! We beat the level! Great job, Soapy. You just made Susan beautiful. Um, I don't like the implication that the person playing the game is the reason that shit happened. Like, can you imagine if the animatronics getting st stuffing people into suits is directly controlled by the game cabinet? Fucked up. Susan's just looking at you like, it's a little mean. Really didn't appreciate that you did that to me. And she just carries on playing. No commentary. Uh, but that was very confusing and, and scary, but it felt like I was being told a story or a certain event. I mean, clearly I was, but, um, yeah. Thing is, the pills have been making me forget a lot of stuff from my teenage years and my childhood, and, like, I started taking them for a reason, but I really don't want to think about it. See, if I didn't want to think about it, I would simply stop playing the video game. She'd be like, fuck this, I'm going back to Battlefield. 
Carrots, if you collect enough apples, I can't read that. Interact. Never forget. The most important thing is that you are having fun. Linda. Linda Thompson. Do not touch. What does that say under that? Cranking. Huh? Redacted. 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 October 30th, 1964. Felix has been acting very weird lately. He's been drinking more than usual. I'm very worried about him. I don't know what to do. He came home at 4 a.m. He was crying. He seemed very unstable and stressed. I don't know what to do. Those, the sound of those footsteps is going to burn into my brain when I try to sleep tonight. Trash wash 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 August 23, 1965. I know I haven't talked to you as much as I used to. This month has been so crazy. I moved in with Felix last week. He was very happy about it. Yesterday, Jack and Rose had their third child, a little girl. Her name is Molly. Molly Walton. Jack and Felix have been pitched, pitching up the restaurant idea with a company that's interested in the project. The name Cyberfund Tech. Dude, they, they flipped by so fast. December 26, 1970. Christmas was nice. They built a doll, a gray rabbit for Eddie and Molly. Molly named it Rocket. Felix drank a lot yesterday. This has been a problem for a while. He is a good person, but he doesn't want to address this. It's getting worse and worse, but he doesn't notice. He feels bad about it, but doesn't try to change. It, fuck, dude, they, the, the subtitles exist for like a frame. It's getting worse. He's so submerged with the project that he doesn't realize how much damage he's, going to, he's doing to himself, how much damage he's doing to me. He keeps going places only to drink. Sometimes he even stays at the warehouse for the sole purpose of drinking. He doesn't listen. He never listens. I don't know what to do. Doctor's handwriting moment. I don't know what to do. Dear Felix, by the time you're reading this, I shouldn't be home. I know you're confused. I'm confused too. What you said to me last week hurt me a lot, but it opened my eyes. Hopefully this opens your eyes too. Our relationship isn't healthy. It never was. I'm leaving Brighton this morning. You're in the warehouse with Jack and the others as I'm writing this. By the time you're reading this, I'll already be in a hurricane. Like the Lamborghini Huracan? There's a place called Hurricane? I, I shouldn't be reading this. What was that last one? I know you are busy today, busy today doing Jack a favor, something re related to some party I can't remember, but please do n please, but please go there when you have the time. As to me, I'll try to build my own life while I still can. You should do that too. I love you. Goodbye. I am sorry. Linda, I am so sorry. I, I shouldn't be reading this. I am sorry. <laughs> the funny sticky note paper, dude. Carrots! Guys, everybody loves carrots! Guys, come on! Everybody loves carrots! Oh. Oh. Every, everybody loves carrots, guys! Every, every, it, it, nothing. There's nobody set here. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna run a, an ad break to cope real fast. I'll be, I'll be back in a minute. Only funny paper.
Who got a problem? Who got a problem like us? The diamonds, the choker is heavy. D dodge my father as I realize they're talking. Okay, okay, back to it, back to it. Just copped another voodoo ranger imperial IPA to cope. I, why does every building in this game have eyes? The well, the barn. Why do they all have to be sentient? It makes it... Technically, if you live in one of those buildings, then you're getting bored by it. I might have to grab some sake. Liquid copium. You didn't have to say it? I mean, I didn't. But I did, so... Oh, what a wonderful surprise! I'm supposing you're here to help me set up Lily's birthday party, right? <laughs> wonderful! You see, I need someone to help me set up the games for the party. Say, why don't you help me set up the games? What do you think? Fantastic! Well, what are we waiting for? Let's get started. It'll be lots of fun. Okay, so when does the body pop out of the keg? What? That don't look right. Again, I feel like this could be related to a person trying to tell the player something, maybe even a ghost, because this game really makes it seem like the people shown on screen died. She jumps right to it being haunted. Most sensible protagonist today in any series ever. Sans noise. Sans noise. Uh... <laughs> Do you, it, I, I'm like so, my point of reference is so skewed, I keep thinking the cake is walking around, and the, in Bond is stationary, it's, it's screwing me up. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> I don't know why the voice lines that start and then get cut off after a millisecond of being st like said, it cracks me up. He's like, look, look, look. Boys and girls, step right up. Get ready for entertainment like you. Also, the guy who does the voice work for this dude is absolutely killing it. I'm I'm hearing it and I'm like, this could be, in this could be in an old timey cartoon with all the voice, the bit crunching and stuff. He's He's slaying, you might say. Never seen before. Start with something simple. Memorize. Take a close look at this picture. Time's up. Let's play. This corner is the same as this corner. These two match. These two match. Come on. Come on. This one and this one. They match. I know they do. Good job. Good job. Well done. They give you like no time for that though. L. Oh dear. You bum. The top left, or the top, the bottom left, and the top right. They match. I'm telling you. I told you this. It's like Sophie's not even listening to me. 
We're, me and Sophie are friends for real. I don't know why she's not listening to me. I watch her streams all the time. Sur surely she should value my input by now. Well done. Oh dear. What? They literally got it right. Bricked game. Game bricked. No backseat gaming, but... Well done. I'm going to have noise complaints in the morning, huh? It's clearly not- it's clearly not that one. It's clearly not that one. You're wrong. Oh! Congratulations! You're very good at this. Right. It's time for the real game. Let's play Spot the Differences! <laughs> this one's a bit hard. But a Look at this image. Look at this image. Cloud. Apple. Letter. Hat color. You spotted a difference. Good job. I did it on my own. I didn't need, I didn't no. need help. <laughs> That's not the difference. No, we'll try again. Well, that's not the difference. You spotted a difference. Good job. You spotted <laughs> Oh, just the circle on his dick, dude! <laughs> it's like, oh, just the red arrow next, man. <laughs> difference. Good job. Nope, that's not the difference. You spotted a difference. Good job. You spotted a difference. Good job. Let's move on to the next image, shall we? Look at this image. Is he in one of those medieval public prisons where you have your head and the hand stuck through it. Whatever, I'm about to crush this. Look at this uh, image. Chris is in the background, different colored bow tie. You spotted a difference. Um, Good job. You spotted a difference. Good job. Yeah, there's blood on the ground over here. Nope, that's not the difference. Uh, try again, which... You spotted a difference. Good job. I didn't even notice that one, huh? You spotted, you a, difference. spotted a difference. Just so let's move on to the next image. Look at this dream image. Choof. You spotted a difference. Good job. You spotted a difference. Good job. Buttons, no nope. microphone. <laughs> That's not the difference. Uh, try again, which you spotted a difference. Good job. You <laughs> <laughs> guys. It's Noah Schnapp. Oh. What did they do to Noah Schnapp? Nope. That's not nope. the difference. That's not the difference. Congratulations! You completed my, my game! Now, time for the prizes! Who did they put inside him? When Doja saw him? Manor, nanor, nanor. He's just showing off his missing grills, that's all. Missing Neil 740, missing Neil 740, missing Neil 740. God, that is some terrifying imagery, man. Jesus. That's really good just horror design holy shit thank you for the sub god damn
I, I, there's an easy Jeff the Killer joke here, but this is just really impressively put together. Wow, like that's unsettling, even without a jump scare or out of context. This is kind of starting to make more sense to me. I mean, as. <laughs> She's still playing! She's still fucking going! She's like, she at no point did you think, I think I'm gonna go upstairs and do my homework. No, I'm gonna keep playing this. I'm gonna keep playing. After that imagery, she's not done. Oh my god. What is wrong with you? Much said. She's just like me for real. And says something like, something like this can make. These are all faces of uh, people, people that I think I knew when I was younger. I knew these people and for some reason my brain just forgot about them or what happened to them. Missing! I doubt they're alive anymore. I mean, maybe it's they 100 are, bits, but Ariana. unlikely because I would have heard from them by now. And this, this game really tries to make it seem like these people died. Not in very pleasant ways, either. I really don't want to think about it anymore, but Jesus. I... I genuinely like, don't dude. know if digging deeper into this is... I'm just saying. How is being scared of a video game real? Just turn it off. Just walk away. Just go upstairs. Go outside. It's the best decision, but curiosity is killing me right now. Yeah, these pills gotta be crazy, man. Oh heavens, this place is so beautiful. Hi, Barn. Didn't expect to see you here. What are you doing here? Oh, I just really wanted to check on you and see if everything is all right. Aw, oh, that's so sweet from you. Mm -hmm. However, I already finished my tasks, but you can check around if you want. I'm not oh, the imposter. I already finished my tasks, wink at camera. Play a game. That sounds fun. What would you like to play? What about hide and seek? Oh, I love that game. I'll hide. Great. This is gonna be fun. Oh, that, it, it's, I don't, there's such simple visuals in this, uh, series, but the way that they frame them and, like, get them real up close to the camera, and just the way they present them, it, it's unsettling in a way that I don't think I was able to appreciate my first go around on this. I, I, I think it's safe to say I've officially been converted on the Walton Files. Thanks for the prime sun, banana bells, which means it's free. You need to find a sheep. You don't even get a full icon anymore. You're just a floating head. Decapitation moment. Shaw Burger, the predecessor to Mr. Beast Burger. Just a car crash. Feels like a car crash. What's in the top left? Oh, yeah, what is in the top left? Um, a little concerning. Ah, oh, nothing to see here, guys. I guess this oddly photo-like image in the video game means nothing. We should head back and look somewhere else. The top left fella's gone, but these bodies are right here now. Nothing to see here. Nothing suspicious. Ignore the very large red globules of red stuff in front of the camera. 
it, the top right changed again. E and M have been buried in graves. Chicken! Congratulations! That's a nice little arpeggio. You that was a not me. so nice arpeggio. That was nice. Wait. You found me. Damn. They messed her up, dude. Artifacting up the ass. That was nice. I had so much fun playing with you. You looked slightly worse for wear since the last time we, uh, saw each other. You doing- you, you doing alright? I thought you had now. Time to hide. Oh boy. Hide in all red. Oh, it's nighttime. That was rather fast. Need, a, need, need me a draw remix of this beat, too. She found me. Beautiful to you, Sophie. <laughs> I know where he is, Rosie. <sighs> A little unsettling, you might say. Also, hi, Heavenly Father. Hope you're doing well. Is this like FNAF inspired? I know it's FNAF inspired. I actually heard at one point that the Walton Files creator got approached by Scott to be a part of the fanverse, and he turned it down because he wanted to do something more, you know, uh, outside of the bounds of what that would have entailed. It's interesting though, it's a really well done uh, interpretation of it. Rosemary Walton, last seen in on June 9, July 19, 1974. You all right? So is that a is that a red light? Holy shit. I mean the machine did say not to play when it had its files corrupted, otherwise severe glitches would occur. Kinda on Sophie at this point, she did have fair warning. Like, let's be honest, let's be honest. Hey, it's the well with eyes. Get back in that well right now. No, 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 do Go- Get back in there right now. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. You go- You crawl back in there right now. Stop fucking telling you!
Bro's legit got a vagina for a stomach. That's incredible. Come one and come all. Welcome to my magic fountain of memories. Step right up and enter your most repressed experiences and get ready to be amazed by my magic. Let's take a small trip down memory lane, shall we? Tell me, what is it you would like to remember? Funny mail page? <laughs> Funny mail page! Write something uh, back for Bon. Who are you? Just draws a soy face, just draws a soy face. Here goes nothing. Oh, it's disappeared. Holy shit. That's my old house. Hello, Bob. I'm so glad you're here to help me clean the car base. All that's left to do is check. Dial town. Hello? Good. Hello? Huh? 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 Jack, what is it? Listen, I was, I was wondering if you could do me and Rose a small favor tonight. Oh, I, I don't know, Jack, today's been a it's, it's, it's about, uh, an Amali. They have a school event tonight. A school party, and they have no one to pick them up. I need to stay at the workshop to finish the paperwork, and Rose is, um, taking self to the dentist. We were wondering if you could pick them up for the event and take them home later. <laughs> Thanks for the 200 bits, Onyx. Appreciate it. Tonight? Yeah, if it's possible, of course. <laughs> sure, I can do that. Really? Yeah, sure. Aw, oh, thanks for bothering me. You're the lifesaver, Felix. <laughs> it, it's nothing. Alright, so, I'll pick them up at 5 and get them home at 9. Well, it should be home by then. If it's not, you call me. Better? Got it. I remember this conversation. Be wary, for this memory seems to be buried deep within your mind. <laughs> you must find them, Sophie. Look. Oh my god, I gotta take a deep breath. That Me. was this. Uh, this Me is when I continue to play the game. So much deeper than I thought, and now I think I, I know what's happening. I recognize these faces, all of them. I I know all of them. That's a suspect looking bear, I'm just I'm just saying. Hanging out in them cornfields. Bit of an odd place to find a bear. But hey, he did come with gifts. That was nice of him. Sophie be like, oh, that's a crazy cutscene. Very inventive. Brighton High Spring Party, March 2nd, 
need to get ready for the school party, Molly. Come on. I'll be ready in a minute, and I'm looking for Rocket. The old doll? Forget about it. We need to get ready. Uncle Felix will be here any minute. That's Ed and Molly. That's Ed and Molly. Ed and Molly? Found it. We can go now. The school. What's the bunny doing at school? Isn't it a grown ass adult? Shadow people. Pretty standard for a high school setting. They had plenty of those when I was at mine. Oh my god, the frame rate. That's the actual video. Don't, don't worry. It's not lagging. It just looks like that. Follow. Me on Twitter. Guys, follow me on Twitter, at Quite, or at Quite Bruh for the alt. <laughs> oh, this is indeed a cope. That's a good crack, by the way. Thanks for the 100 bits, Vince Coffin. And I'm realizing now that the music they're playing at the high school party was what was playing in the background of earlier videos. That's nuts. Wait, sorry, one second, I gotta check some. Okay, we're good, we're good, sorry. Just do that real quick. Oh, now you're Ed and Molly. Walking, you know, just me and the corpses walking around, fucking up the city, out for a night on the town. Ugh. All right, we finally found Rocket. Now can we leave? Yeah, the school looks very creepy at night. Where is Uncle Felix anyways? He should be somewhere around here. We should look for him. So I, I just want to like make sure moving forward I have the timeline right. So, so Sophie is Walton's kid. Walton couldn't uh, fucking pick up the kids. So Ed, Molly, and Sophie went to the high school thing together. And Felix is the one who's dropping them off, picking them up. Is Do I have that right? Or am I a little mixed up? Is it, Am I a little... Stop playing? Um, yeah, yes. Is this school dance? Ugly ass kids. Oh, Sophie's at the dentist. Sophie's at the dentist, and Felix just needs to pick up Ed and Molly. Got it. What is she doing at the dentist at, like, midnight? The kids are like seven. They said it said spring high, which is why I thought it was a high school thing. I, I, I guess it makes more sense if they're like toddlers. Dimension moment. Listen, man, the storytelling in analog horror is notoriously nonlinear. So my attention span has been all over the damn place trying to find like hidden things. I've been cataloging things not necessarily in order, alright? Just l let me live, let me live.
Drinking zone. Yeah, getting swifty. Give my seven-year-old some whiskey needs. Let's go, man. I taught my, when I have my firstborn, he's going to be five years old at sipping Long Island. That is a joke. That is a comedy bit. This is, or slash J. Why are they letting adults get shit-faced drunk at a school dance? Well, that, the chaperones need something to do, you know? Can I, can I tell you something really funny? So, at, at VidCon, I was hanging out with Dave Kratzy. Love the dude. But I think it was, like, me, him, Jelly Bean, and, a, like, one other person. Fucking one of Eric's, like, friends. I, I'm, the name escapes me now. But the, we were, like, getting some ticketing issues resolved. <laughs> and there was a chaperone area. For, like, all the parents who had brought their kids to VidCon, where you could, like, fucking get drinks at a bar. So me and Dave go over there, and I'm like, yeah, can we get, like, two vodka crayons? So you just, like, fucking down them at 2 p.m. Because there's a chaperone section specifically for the adults who had to come with their kids. It was so funny. Like, just the fact that it exists. As in PNG tuber jelly bean? Yeah, they were, I think they were getting some ticketing stuff solved. And me and Dave were like... Yeah, let's just see what the chaperone zone has. I mean, they had drinks, so we, we got one. This is a drinking show zone. You shouldn't be drinking. It's okay. I'm, wait, wait. What was it? I think I missed something. Uncle Felix, what are you doing here? This is a drinking zone. You shouldn't be drinking. It's okay. I'm really just feeling a little dizzy. It's getting very late. Your parents m must be worried. Let's... Watch. It's the it's the drunk it's like Felix had a drinking problem that he never got solved. And they asked him, Hey, sir, can you drive with your drinking problem? How much is left till we get home? Not much. Just just kind of lost, I think. Uncle Felix, what are you drinking? M Y Q. Our teacher says drinking is not right. No, 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 I'm just... <sighs> Thanks for the, uh, prime sub smelly fart lol. I'm just... I'm just... Just it's really not the drunk drivers that get in trouble, it's the drunk crashers. So true. They give a bad name to I'm I'm not back to, to to do this, but I I I'm not 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 in the middle of this. It's, it's not that big of a deal, alright? She took that from Schlatt. I know where she got it from. I watched that video too. Schlatt also got it from TikTok. <laughs> drunk driving being cool is a is a meme on the internet at the moment. I want to go home, she says, on the way home. Listen, I'm just... Uh, uh, I'm just trying to get you to... Uh, I'm just trying to get you to home quickly, alright? I'm... I'm sorry, I just... I'm not feeling too good right now. I really just, just, I just want to lay in the bed and go to sleep. It's alright. We get that today was the best for you. We understand. Well, it's, it, she says, it's all your fault. It's all your fault. God damn. Everything is gonna be okay. <laughs> Thanks, Molly. What an understanding child that he's about to murder. Oh no, you got the bad ending. You couldn't find the barn tasks in time. You crashed the car. You killed them. I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry to break the ambiance of the moment, but that scream really reminded me something specific. 
Like this is like genuinely unsettling and really well put together, but I have I have no I have half a brain missing several lobes. So is Felix Bond then? Can somebody clip that though? Can somebody clip that? That's a really like unfortunately, as gruesome as that is, that's really funny. They didn't go home that night. He buried them here. He was too scared. But they found a way out eventually. Gygus moment. They became rocket. The sound design of this series is so good, dude. Messages. Felix, pick up the phone. Now, I need you to pick up the phone. It's been three hours since I told you to get Ed and Molly home. What happened to my children? If anything happened, Felix, you must tell me. You haven't told me in three hours. I need to know what's going on. I'm trying to call you all night. What the hell is wrong with you? I... I've been trying to contact you all night. I've been calling everyone for you. Just what the hell is wrong with you? Three hours, you didn't call. I asked you to do one simple favor for me. I need to know, where are they? Where did you... You forgot to remember. Crunchy. That's that for some re for some reason this face really gets me. I don't know why. That one like does me in. Ugh. Like that it gets, genuinely gives me chills.
No calves have an ass. The Walton Files 3 Bunny Farm. Wow. I'm so glad I revisited the series. I'm so glad I came back to this. I like I, I don't know what headspace I was in when I first watched this. I, I think it might have been I, w I had less patience when I was watching. And it, I can imagine the voice acting in that first episode kind of had me like, eh, this isn't for me. But I pushing on, it like obviously improved incrementally and like, wow. 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 That was a hell of a... That was a really, really impressive piece of work there. Christ. Jeez. Holy shit. So, I think we have, like, one more stream's worth of content. There's, like, uh, 53 minutes. There's, like, an hour's, le like, left worth. I don't think I'm going to finish it tonight. I'm going to be honest. I, I thought this was part of the files, but somebody fucking put the FNAF VHS tapes at the end of the playlist for some reason. I have no idea why. We'll watch Guilty on Friday, I think. Um, fuck, man. Jesus. We'll watch, we'll watch Guilty, guys. We're finishing this. We're finishing this on Friday. Let's just watch Nexpo's video. No, we're, we're, we're finishing it. We'll probably watch Nexpo's videos ne next stream. But... I did start stream late tonight, and I have some stuff I need to get done after this, but Christ, man. That, hell of a stream. Hell of a stream. Um, thank you guys for coming out to this. It's been a lot of fun, uh, you know, despite the subject matter. Like, 1A, 1K, consistent 1K Andy. Consistent 1K Andy without, like, any promo. That's, like, the first time for me, I think. I know we had it on chat confessions, but... We even topped this, dude. The streams have been going absolutely nuts recently. And I don't know if that's more people are finding the YouTube stuff or whatever, but whatever it is, thank you guys for coming out more and more. It, the support me is the world. We hit like 150K on Twitch tonight, which is crazy. Fucking bonkers ass number. Seriously. All right. I'm, 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 uh, I'm going to stop sucking chat's collective penis and run an ad break, but we'll finish this on Friday. If you guys want to see the end of the Walton Files, be sure to show up there. I will be there streaming live right right, right here, right here. This is going to be a YouTube video, but not until after that VOD's done. So I'll see you all soon. Hmm. Who's live? And Nuka can have it. It's Nuka's first stream back. He was at Rolling Loud. Big festival. I'm going to give it to him. And because of that, I expect every single one of y'all to be in chat. Otherwise, like, I'm going to cry and then piss and cry and piss and, and cry and piss. I'm capable of all of those things. Don't underestimate me. Legit. I will do it. I'll fucking piss and cry and shit and come at the same time. He's playing multiverses, I think. I thought about playing that, but I got really lazy, and, you know, I had my streams for a week planned out, so I keep, like, not doing it. Anyways, I'm gonna send you to my homie Nuka. He just got back from a big trip, so I expect every single one of y'all to be in this raid. If you care, if you were, like, a real friend, you would. Aren't, guys, we're friends, right? We're parasocially friends, right? You, you don't want to make me look stupid in front of other streamers, right? <laughs> Don't you want to be there for the raid? Don't you, like, care about my image on the Twitch space, guys? Guys, don't you? Huh. Only half of you are in this raid. I guess you just really want to embarrass me, huh? <laughs> I'll see you all on Friday. Out. Maybe I don't know what perks are. Dude, we're gonna get our ass rocked, eat him. Whoa! Quite with the raid!